Today is August 31st. These are most important events for this day through history. On this day in 1970 is born Nikola Gruevsky, Macedonian economist and politician, sixth prime minister of the Republic of Macedonia and ruler of the VMRODPMNE party. On this day in 1970 is born Queen Rania of Jordan. She has become known for her advocacy work related to education, health, community empowerment, youth, cross-cultural dialogue, and microfinance. On this day in 1949 is born Richard Gere, an American actor. He went on to star in several hit films, including Pretty Woman, Primal Fear and Chicago, for which he won a Golden Globe Award as Best Actor. On this day in 1888 Mary Ann Nichols is murdered. She is the first of Jack the Ripper's confirmed victims and one of the White Chapel murder victims. Her death has been attributed to the notorious unidentified serial killer Jack the Ripper, who is believed to have killed and mutilated at least five women in the Whitehead Chapel area of London from late August to early November 1888. As the murders were never solved, the legend surrounding them became a combination of genuine historical research, folklore, and pseudo-history. The term Ripperology was coined to describe the study and analysis of the Ripper cases. There are now over 100 theories about the Ripper's identity, and the murders have inspired many works of fiction. On this day in 1895, Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin received a patent for his navigable balloon called Zeppelin. A Zeppelin was a type of rigid airship named after the German Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, who pioneered rigid airship development at the beginning of the 20th century. He spent nearly a decade developing the dirigible. The first Zeppelin was completed in 1900. In 1910, a Zeppelin provided the first commercial air service for passengers. By his death in 1917, he had built a Zeppelin fleet, some of which were used to bomb London during World War I. The Hindenburg disaster in 1937, along with political and economic issues, hastened the demise of the Zeppelins. On this day in 1997, Diana, Princess of Wales died as a result of injuries sustained in a car crash in the Pont d'Alma Road Tunnel in Paris, France. Her friend, Dottie Fade, and the driver of the Mercedes-Benz W140, Henry Paul, were pronounced dead at the scene. The bodyguard of Diana and Dottie, Trevor Rees Jones, was the only survivor. An 18-month French judicial investigation found that the crash was caused by Paul, who lost control of the car at high speed while drunk. The funeral saw the British television audience peak at 32.10 million, one of the United Kingdom's highest viewing figures ever, while millions of people also watched the event around the world. Diana was the first wife of Charles, Prince of Wales, who was the eldest child and heir apparent of Queen Elizabeth II. On this day in 2005, occurred the Al Ama Bridge Stampede, when 953 people died following a stampede on Al Ama Bridge, which crosses the Tigris River in the Iraqi capital of Baghdad. At the time of the stampede, around 1 million pilgrims had gathered around, or were marching toward the Al Qaeda Mosque, which is the shrine of the Imam Musa Al Qasim. Near the shrine, Rumors of an imminent suicide bomb attack broke out and that led to the panic. The panic crowd flocked to the bridge. Some people fell onto the concrete base and died instantly. The pressure of the crowd caused the bridge's iron railings to give way, dropping hundreds of people 9 meters into the Tigris River. Owing to the nature of the incident many of those who died were those who could be considered physically weakest, such as the elderly, women and children. On this day in 1985, died Sir Frank McFarlane Burnett, who was an Australian virologist. He won the Nobel Prize for predicting acquired immune tolerance, and was best known for developing the theory of clonal selection. On this day in 2014, died Jimmy Jameson, who was an American musician, singer, and songwriter. He had previously been a member of rock band Survivor, and is known for writing and performing the theme song to Baywatch. On this day in 2008, died Ken Campbell, 
who was an English writer, actor, director and comedian known for his work in experimental theatre. He has been called a one-man dynamo of British theatre. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more, so that we may fear less. Marie Curie